Let's look at question 4 of the CSEC May 2019 past paper. It says the quantity P varies inversely as the square of V. Using letters P, V and K form an equation connecting the quantities P and V. Let's see. P varies inversely. P varies with V. But it says inversely, so it's 1 divided by V. As a square of V, so you need to put a square on V. So what you have is P varies with 1 over V squared. Then it says form an equation connecting the quantities P and V. Alright. In this case, P is equal to the K is a constant. It's K multiplied by 1 over V squared. That's what you have. Now let's look at um, a little explanation on this. If P and V had varied directly, you would have P varies with V. How would they vary? Suppose when P is 5 and V is 2, when P becomes 10, V becomes 4. So they double. Now, what you would have here is a case where one doubles, the next also double. Alright? That is showing that they are directly proportional. Now, suppose I had P is equal to 2V. I could say what happened when P is 5? Five? 5 is equal to 2 times V. So V would be 5 over 2. So what you would have is when P is 5, V is 5 over 2. Alright? If P is 10, 10 is equal to 2 times V. So what would be V be? V would be 5. So you would say V is 5. So you'd say 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So 2 is a constant here. 2 is a constant. So you would have P is equal to 2V. Now, if P and V were inversely proportional, then you, would, you could have a case where you say P is equal to 2 times 1 over V. So that's what happens here. In this case, suppose P is 6. You would say 6 is equal to 2 times 1 over V. And therefore, when you work it out, you could say 1 over V is equal to 6 over 2, which is 3. 1 over V is 3, so V would be 1 third. So you could do that, alright? And that will lead to the second part of this equation, but um, the second part of this question. But the equation that we want is this. P is equal to K multiplied by 1 over V squared.